1862, French anatomist Guillaume Duchesne noted that the orbicularis oculi muscle, which surrounds the eye, is recruited in smiles that occur with spontaneously experienced enjoyment. But not in smiles that are posed. Only in the last few decades have researchers gathered the empirical evidence to confirm Duchesne's observation. This particular configuration of the enjoyment smile identified by Duchesne has been called the Duchesne smile. In honor of Duchesne's original observation, in 2005, a team of Jeanette Haviland Jones, researchers at Rutgers University in New Jersey, U.S., studied how flowers affect Duchesne smile. Research team presented participants with one of three gifts a decorative candle, a fruit basket, and a floral bouquet, supposedly as a thank you for taking part in a study. And the delivery people measured the recipient's facial expressions in response to the gifts. In every case, the recipients responded to the flowers with what is known as the Duchesne smile. Neither the candle nor the fruit elicited that kind of across-the-board positive response. And three days later, the flower recipients were still feeling happier than their cohorts in the study. Florence Nightingale already knew the effect of flowers in the 19th century. She always thought the ward needed plenty of natural light and found that patients in wheelchairs were faster to recover from going out to the garden. Like this, flowers cleanse our minds and have a good effect on our bodies. If you are in trouble now, decorate your own small garden. And if anyone around you is having a hard time, give them flowers as a gift. Flowers are the best medicine to heal our bodies and minds.